Next project I have is this RG. This is an RG 560 uh, 91. This one here is going to need a fret level and a setup. You can see the wear on these frets here. Alright, now we can see what we have here. Touched, second, third, all good till right around here, just as I, as I expected. These ones here are low frets here. The marker's still on them, so gotta keep going. Got the top of all the frets, just touched them. And just take off the side of the fret. Don't take anything off the top of the fret, just the side. You just want to give it a bit of a shape. This high fret here didn't really see much, much of the fret level at all because of the fall away. There you have it. Once you have a nice thin line like that, you're good to go. Not too shabby. Looking good. Looking good gone over the frets with uh, good old 1500 grit I polished them down things are looking good uh, it's time to go one step further and hit them with some 4-0 steel wool that'll make them even shinier and then after that metal polish steel wool now they're nice and shiny but I plan on going one step further and hitting them with some metal polish and that will really really bring them to life. Almost there. stage is complete uh, more or less uh, after I take off the masking tape I'm gonna clean the frets and probably give it another once over because sometimes polish gets stuck between in the little crevice there so I'll end up giving it a quick wipe down a quick buff maybe but uh, for the most part that looks fucking good years it developed a gloss on the back of the neck from I guess you know oil in your skin and that kind of stuff the headstock still has this nice matte finish to it. it's nice and smooth but then you get down here and it's it's sticky right and you get down to the heel here ah oh, nice and smooth so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the back of the neck leave the heel no, there's no reason to touch that with uh, some steel wool. Clean the fretboard. Get off all the uh, the gunk from the tape. Some of the um, 
polish that got in between the frets and the tape clean that out also recondition this fretboard it's old and it, it needs a once over so that's what we're going to do right now done here frets are leveled polished fretboard has been conditioned everything's done here all it's left to do now is put the strings on and set this sucker up quite happy with the way it turned out those nice shiny frets just love it love it love it love it There you are. Cool. Set it up. What I did with the bridge was I took it apart screw by screw and cleaned it with some three in one oil and put it all back together uh, just to get rid of all the, the corrosion and the gunk and make sure everything's nice and free and moving all, all the saddles aren't binding uh, the blocks here all are free so this thing here even being from 1991 it's good as new right now it's perfect it's a little little bit of wear on these knife edges but not enough to cause a problem it was totally stable before I even took it apart so it's just it looks like new now the thing I noticed when I took the top block off there was only uh, one side with the shim on it so I fabricated the other side here with uh, some copper that I had lying around uh, it's the same thickness so that should do if there's a problem after I set it up and say the base side is higher uh, I'm not sure if they they I'll take it out at that point I'm not sure if they set it up like this from the factory with just like one half of a shim on one side I doubt that but anyways I made it cleaning up the posts here like I said I had them dipped in oil just soaking in a bag with a bit of oil in it so everything moves nice and freely now easy tighten up the claw a bit so things don't go falling out next I have to do intonation uh, what I want to do here is get it tuned open Okay, just like that, and I have to fret the 12th fret of that open string, and it should be the same. If it's not, then I need to make the adjustment. Open, fretted. Okay, that's the same. E is good. So I'll get a check mark beside the E. A sharp. Side that sharp going to the D string and fretted sharp G string.
and fretted mega sharp okay B string flat open good fretted a little bit sharp so the only one that's good so far is the low E Okay, and fretted. Sharp. Not as bad. Done with this one. The old RG560 is done. Frets are leveled. Polished crowned. All that jazz. Uh, what else did I do here? Intonated, set it up, cleaned up the bridge, made sure everything moved nice and freely. Uh, I took the pickup out and I put some foam underneath the pickup because it was rattling around in there. Um, that stabilized it nicely. Uh, what else did I do here? Serviced the whole thing, basically. I went over every nook and cranny and cleaned everything up, took the top lock off, cleaned it up, put it back on. All, all the hard work, I take it off and once over. The neck, I took some sand, not sandpaper, some steel wool too, and uh, just took a bit of that sheen off it, a bit of that gloss, so it's a little more um, satin, kind of like how it came. So that's nice. Set it up to, uh, what is this, C sharp. Works perfectly. Uh, the action is pretty low. Not too low. The, the, the guy who owns this guitar plays in a hardcore band and he, he beats the shit out of this thing. He really lays into the strings. So... If I lower this anymore, for sure, the strings are going to vibrate off the frets. I mean, any time you tune a guitar low, you, your strings are a little loose. Even though they're a thicker gauge, I think these were... I forget. Anyways, they're thick strings, but they're still... They're not as, as tight as, like, uh, something like a, a 9 tuned to E or something would be. There's, there's less movement when, when you hit the string. So I set it up so we could lay into it and it won't really vibrate that much and rattle yeah that's it for this one that's the second rg i set up for this guy's name's chris he plays in a hardcore band called born without hope so check them out anyways that's it for this one